Hello kids. In the previous video, we learned to solve some fun word puzzles related to 10th and 100th. In this video, we will learn to solve some more interesting puzzles related to this. Winter is about to begin. Bunny has woven a dozen woolen caps to survive the cold weather. Bunny is going to sell these caps in the market in the city. On the way, Bunny is thinking, I will earn a lot of money by selling these one dozen caps. If I sell one cap for 5 rupees and 50 paise, how many rupees will I get in total? Just then, Babban was passing by. Bunny stopped Babban and asked him, Babban, how much money will I get for one dozen caps if I sell one cap for 5 rupees and 50 paise? It is very easy, Bunny. A cap costs 5 rupees and 50 paise. To find the price of a dozen or 12 caps, we have to multiply the price of one cap by 12. Babban told Bunny. I see. Uh, but there is also a decimal point in the middle. So how do I do this multiplication? Bunny told Babban. I will teach you. Look, first we'll write the price of one cap like this. Now, we will multiply 550 by 12, just as we do any multiplication. Saying this, Babban quickly multiplied it on a paper in this manner and wrote 6600 as the answer. <laughs> wow! And then will I earn 6,600 rupees? Bunny excitedly asked Babban. No, Bunny. Now we have to see how many digits are there after the decimal point in the numbers being multiplied. Can you tell me how many digits are there after the decimal point in 5 rupees and 50 paise? Babban asked Bunny. Two digits. Bunny quickly replied. Absolutely right. So, we will write the decimal point in the answer in such a way so that there are only two digits after the decimal point. And then we will get our answer. <laughs> now I get it. If I put the decimal point here, there will be only two digits or two zeros after the decimal point. Oh wow! I'll earn 66 rupees by selling 12 caps. <laughs> On saying this, Bunny started dancing happily. Children, if Bunny had sold only 11 caps instead of a dozen caps, can you tell how many rupees would Bunny have received? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. We will first multiply 5.50 with 11 in this way. And now, because there are two digits after the decimal point in 5.50, we will write the decimal point in the answer in this way. The total cost of 11 caps would be 60 rupees and 50 paise. Let's see what Bunny and Babban are doing now. Bunny thanked Babban for helping him and took his bag and headed towards the city. Children, in this video, we learned to solve some more interesting puzzles 
related to 10th and 100th. In the next video, we will learn to solve even more interesting puzzles.